95% of people who do jiu-jitsu are only benefiting 30% of the art. Right? Why is that? Structure for the competition style. Yes. Rules, points. Correct, that's not, but that's the thing is that even what I'm talking about, what I'm talking about applies so much to competition. Because if somebody side mounts you in competition to hold you down, you have to escape, right? Why? Points, time. The question is, if you lay still for 10 seconds, will they begin to attack you? Yeah. And if so, won't that give you an opportunity to escape? So what I'm showing you, can you afford to relax for 10 seconds in a competition? And will it have, will it be beneficial to you? You see that? But still, no one does it though. You see that? Is it beneficial to side mount me right here, please? Over okay. here. Is it beneficial that if you side mount me, the ref's hands went up. Go, action, tight, hold me tight. And go. We're sparring now, live sparring, tournament, go. I, 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 would you stay here holding me? Yes. Many people do, right? That's when the word comes in, stalling. Okay? But most who are good, what are they going to do? Good. Now look at this. You're already like, would you have like that? Would you get up like that and give that? Imagine you're in a tournament. How would you attack? It's a very conservative attack. Right? But it's okay though. I'm not going anywhere. Neck and tricep. Well, not too much for me, just enough. <laughs> <laughs> too much for me. Too much for you. Go, attack.
Tricep and neck. Holding his tricep and his neck. Very annoying. Keep going. Wow. See that? So I only let go and like throw my legs to the guard when I feel like the, the pressure is gone. Because the truth is, if he holds me as tight as he can, I probably can't escape if he's just controlling. But the question is, can you hold as tight as you can and tap me? You know what I mean? And that's, that's why Jiu-Jitsu is so amazing. And most people, when being controlled, what do they do? When they're being controlled, what do they do? We said it earlier, we don't like being controlled. Control me tight. You want to escape from here. I don't want to escape. You want to attack. Tricep, neck. Mm -hmm. And then when I feel space. Mm -hmm. That little trap and roll from earlier, it's okay if they mount, I mean. Especially when you're comfortable in the mount, but go back to this. They're not gonna mount you. They're gonna attack. Tricep and neck. I keep his hand behind my neck and I hold the tricep. I keep my head close to my knuckles on that hand over there. And I hug the neck. Mm -hmm. And I stay close. And this is just one way of being safe, right? Like my arms are kind of, you would say they're exposed, am I right? How many of you think they were exposed before? But now feeling this, how exposed are they? Go ahead. What's the next plan? You gotta train, you gotta attack. What are you gonna do? Boom, my knee shot in. Now my bottom knee's in, now I extend. And now I go out to guard. Cool, so the bottom person Hold tight, top person. Let's not like try to defeat the escape that we just showed you nine times. More, let's try to attack and see where the openings are to tap them out, and then give them a little space. Let them, you know, shrimp out, and then shoot you to the guard. Extend, kick you away. Cool. Go.